Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about introduction of socket. It is the topic of computer network. Before discuss about introduction of socket, let's subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Balodia and follow my blog edu resources. All the video materials are available on my blog edu resources. Links is given in the description. So let's discuss introduction of socket so first of all what is socket socket is an endpoint of two-way communication between the programs running on the network so here programs running on the network it means there are two different programs running on the two different machines in the network next how socket works so as per the definition programs running on the network it means programs running on the different machines on the network so for example there is one client and there is one server there is one program running on the client and another program running on the server. Now client program want to communicate with the server program. So it means client program want to send a message to the server program. So how client program will send the message to the server program? As per the definition, socket is required when two different programs running on the network. So this is client side socket and this is server side socket. The socket address is associated with the IP address as well as the port address. So here this is the client IP address and this one is the server IP address. IP address is a logical address in the network. So if you want to know about detail in the logical address then click on the above thumbnail. So here IP address is required because program is running on the network. It means the program is running on the two different pieces. So here client and server can send the data through the IP address. Here these are the client side ports and here these are the server side ports. So the use of port is process to process communication in the network. So if you want to know about ports in detail then click on the above thumbnail. So I have already told that the socket address is the associated with the IP address and the port address. In this scenario client want to send a message to the server. So first of all client will choose any free port which is available at the client machine. So client will choose this particular port to send a message to the server. At the server side, this port is reserved by that program. So it is called the agreed port. So now both the ports are logically connected. Then after client program send that message to the socket, socket will forward that message to the selected port of the client machine. So client side selected port forward that message to the agreed port of the server. Now that agreed port forward that message to the socket and socket will pass that message to the respected program running on the server side. So this diagram is to understand the working of socket. Next, why socket is required? When we desired a communication with different programs running in the network at that time socket is required. So in simple words we can say socket is required to build a network application. The network application like web browsers, FTP, etc. The socket is used where client server architecture are used in the network. Next, what is socket address? The socket address is associated with the IP address and port address. So for example, the IP address of the receiver is 192.68.21.3. For example, port number 80 is used at the receiver side to receive the process. So we all know that the purpose of IP address for the host to host communication and the purpose of port number is used for the process to process communication in the network. So whenever IP address and port number both are combined and it creates a socket address. So now we can say that socket address is associated with the IP address and the port number. Next how to identify process using socket. So let's take one example to understand how to identify process using socket. So there is one client and there is one server. So this is client IP address and this is the server IP address. In server host there are two different servers are configured web server and eco server. Now client send a request to the server. So this client request received from port number 80 at the server side. So here in this scenario port number 80 is bind with the web server and port number 7 is the bind with eco server. So this request message received from the port number 80. So server OS forward this request to the web server. It means client want to access a web server. So let's take another example. There is one client and there is one server. Now client send a request to the server. So this client request message received from port number 7 at the server side. 
port number 7 is bind with the echo server. So server OS forward this request to the echo server. So this is the actual scenario to identify the process using socket. But actually identify the process using the port number. And we all know that socket address is combination of IP address and the port number. Next, on which layer socket will be executed in TCP IP model? So let's take one scenario to understand the execution of socket. There are two process, process A and B. Both are running on the application layer of the TCP IP model. So here process A and process B, both the process wants to communicate with other process that other process are running on the different machine in the network. So socket is required to communicate with the other process. The next layer in the TCP IP model is transport layer. TCP and UDP protocol are defined on the transport layer. The purpose of TCP and UDP protocol is for the process to process communication in the network. So here for example process A is associated with the TCP protocol and process B is associated with the UDP protocol. So here TCP protocol assign a port number for the process A and UDP protocol assign port number for the process B. So here port number is assigned by the TCP or the UDP protocol. It means the socket is executed at the transport layer in TCP IP model as well as in the OSI model. And we all know that socket address is associated with the port number as well as the IP address. So now process pass from transport layer to the network layer. So IP address is assigned to that process. So unique socket address is defined. And the finally process pass through the network devices. It means the data link layer or physical layer. So in TCP IP model physical and data link layer both are combined. So based on this scenario we can say the socket is executed on the transport layer in TCP IP model as well as in the OSI model. Next how many types of socket? There are main two types of sockets. The first one is stream socket and the another one is datagram socket. Next the characteristics of socket. The characteristics of stream socket is reliable and error free services. So it means during the transmission from sender to receiver side any packet is lost or damaged which is again sent by the sender. The another characteristics is sequential packet delivered. So it means sender can assign sequence number to the all the packets and sending one by one in a sequential manner. So using the sequence number reliable and error free services are provided by the stream socket. Next datagram socket characteristics are unreliable and best effort service. So here unreliable means lost and damaged datagram is not again sent by the sender. And the best effort service means all the datagram reached at the destination within a small period of time. The another characteristics of datagram socket is datagram may arrive out of order. So it means datagram socket cannot assign any sequence number to the datagram and all the datagram put on the network link simultaneously. So all the datagram reach at the destination within a small period of time because datagram socket provides the best effort services in compared to stream socket. Next application of sockets. So based on characteristics the application of socket is telnet or SSH and HTTP HTTPS. So it means the stream socket application is based on the request and response behavior. So based on application we can say the connection is established before sending the data through the stream socket. Then after sending the data and then connection is terminated. And the application of datagram socket is live streaming audio or video. So it means no connection is required to send the data. Directly sender sending the data through the datagram socket to the receiver side. So based on the characteristics and application of datagram socket we can say there is no connection establishment between the sender and receiver. Directly sender send the data to the receiver. So based on characteristics and application of stream socket we can say stream socket is associated with the TCP socket also known as the connection oriented socket. And the datagram socket is associated with the UDP protocol. So it means UDP socket. So it is also known as the connection less socket. Next other sockets. Other sockets are raw socket and sequence packet socket. So here raw socket is associated with the UDP socket or we can say datagram socket. And sequence packet socket is associated with the TCP socket or the stream socket. So if you like this video please hit the like button and share with your friends. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Valoria. Follow my blog edu resources. All the video materials are available on my blog and links are given in the description.
थैंक यू